Welcome back. This is part two of my Memorial Day 2018 uh, special. This is the record album out of the Combi Radio Net. And inside of it is a, another album which says Album of Recordings, Howard Radio Co., America's oldest radio manufacturer. All the records in here were recorded in 1941 and 1942, at least as far as I can tell. The um, very first record here is a federal perma disc recorded by Ozzy Knudsen, and the title is Walter Winchill. It's dated December 7th, 1942, which is known as the date that will live in infamy. That was the day that Japan attacked the Pearl Harbor naval base, and uh, that caused the U.S. to declare war a day later which would be a uh, big part of Ozzy's life, or at least the part of Ozzy's life that is recorded here. So I'm going to show you guys that record first, because it kind of leads things off. Now you guys have seen this record player before. It's a French-made Pilladen. And you may be wondering why I'm using a French record player for my Memorial Day video. But that is because it's the only one I have that has a 78 RPM needle and is actually working well. None of my other sets meet that criteria, or at least none of my American ones. So this is the one that's getting used. So here's that first record from December 7th, 1941. It's a little hard to get this record started right in the beginning, but I'll try my best. It will fight for the last man. Japan's dog wants the United States to know that he is ready to decide the fate of the Far East by one road only. The road of war. 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 The Washington. The ominous rumor persists that two sister ships of the late Bismarck are in the China Sea tonight flying the Chinese flag, the Japanese flag, I beg your pardon. The Navy Department informed me that they are appealing to all men between the ages of 17 and 50 for enlistment in all branches of the service. I repeat, all branches of the service. Your services, Mr. American, are needed right now. Apply, please, to your nearest recruiting station. Behind the international scene, Mandalay, in the expected emergency, the Burma Road will be defended throughout its length by the RAF and whole squadrons of American volunteers. Alexandria, Egypt. England's trustees will strengthen its state in the Libyan campaign. The Royal Navy continues the effective Mediterranean blockade but the heavy German tanks account for the unexpected stiff resistance. Ankara. Captain the wind hot glance to Great Britain the group. The major German reverse had dropped off and had a terrific diplomatic effect in the middle of it. Ankara here is for instance that the German left flank was crushed by an army corps of contact on horseback. Somewhere in India. A soldier fighting with the British and Libyan name, Patrick Hamilton, doesn't know of his good fortune. He is the author of a new play in New York called Angel Street, Broadway's latest good book. It is a study of central Catholic purity in which a husband tries to make his wife believe she has lost her mind. The report of the book of the There is another side to this uh, disc, but it's about completely unrelated news, and this is already going to be a long video, so I'm going to skip that one. Plus it's in pretty bad shape, it's got lots of bubbling. Now these discs were in kind of random order when I got this set, so I've rearranged them as best I can to be in what I think is the correct order. Uh, I don't know that for sure. But this seems to be the first disc about 
Ozzy Knudsen's uh, service in the Navy. I'm not exactly sure how to read this handwriting, um, but I believe it says Carson and Ozzy, hearty farewell by G something, uh, and dated August 20th, 1942. It seems this was the last recording he made before he uh, left to join the Navy. Dear mother, father, and family, well, mother and father, you know I love you all. It's hard to put into words, but it's in my heart. I'm off to the Navy tomorrow, and I wish to express my deepest thanks to everything, and to bid you a fond farewell. You, you two have done the best, and I'll try to do the rest to the best of my ability. My future days ahead, I can always think of you, and I hope you will do the same. Parts in the rest of us are now waiting home, and I hope this record will tend to recall the happy memories of each one of us. Now, Jenny, in the future years, save this record in the other, other half until I come back, and I'll have more and plenty more to say. Long time. There's a second track on the record um, with no lead in between them, so I'll try and get it started on the uh, second one carefully here. Yes. That was a short farewell, so I'm giving you a few, few more lines. Fighting with such a song, I'll say goodnight till tomorrow. When the war is over, family, I'll come straight back to thee. When everything is okay and then, we'll be all together again. This is our whole sweet community signing out. So long, folks, and may the heaven turn out for the best. I'm sorry for the uh, quality of this playback here, but these records seem to have been played uh, quite extensively and they're very worn. You'll notice I had the tone control turned all the way down to the bass side because there's so much record hiss on these records. Um, that's about the only way they're intelligible. Now the next record here is from uh, one of the Pepsi Cola servicemen centers where they apparently recorded these things for free uh, for servicemen to send back home. They're uh, recorded on cardboard, so I definitely don't want to play this uh, more than necessary. Uh, it's only recorded on one side. On the back here it says O.B. Knudsen. None of them have dates on them. I don't know if that was a like a restriction placed on the servicemen, but um, yeah, it's not dated on the record itself, and none of them mention any dates either. From listening to the recordings, I think this is the first one, um, so I'm going to play it first. Hello, Ms. Knudsen. Captain Cole is happy to bring you a message from your son, Ozzy, from the Servicemen Center, San Francisco, California. Hello, oh, Mom and Dad. Here I am in Frisco, and here comes a letter via the record. I've been here a week now and saw lots of this uh, swell Liberty Town. Saw Golden Gate Bridge, Frisco, Oakland, Bay Bridge, Chinatown, San Francisco, and Pony Island. There's lots of rides and stuff. I look over the town and it's really a swell town. There's always something to do here, and I'm doing it. I'm going to Oakland soon and also trying to get in touch with Ed Law, who's down there near Sacramento. And I want to put in a good word for the USO here, especially the Pepsi Cola USO. It's really hot. Everything guys for the super, super human service move, and uh, I sure like it. I'm still awaiting orders, so I don't know what the deal yet. Oh, yes, Mom. I'm a working man now. On my days off, we servicemen can get jobs at the docks and the railroad station and certainly or every place here. I saw Texas. The uh, SP railroad last night and got five dollars. It's a good deal, and that money comes in handy. Everything's on even keel now, so I can hit the high spot. I gotta clean up a bit now, and so I'll say goodbye until I send another record. P.S. Mom, just got a glimpse of Mrs. Roosevelt who was here at the U.S.O. Who is in this night? Well, say hello to everyone, and so on again.
Now for what I believe is the second record. Pepsi-Cola is happy to bring you a message from Ozzy from the Servicemen Center, San Francisco, California. Hi, Kelly and Art from Beacon Hill Wolves. How are you? Here I am in Frisco, and I'm having a swell time. I'm now situated at Treasure Island, and here comes a letter record and it's telling you what's uh, doing in Frisco. I sent one record home the other day, and you all can get together and play both of them if you want to on my recording machine. Remember? I've seen quite a few of the sites in Frisco. The Oakland Bay Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, Chinatown, the Beach Playground, which is sort of like Coney Island. The TI, where, I, where I'm situated, is really a nice place. The uh, International Exposition was there in 1939. San Francisco is really a nice liberty town, and I'm going to make the most of it while I can. Yeah, me and my 10 cents. No kidding. I was broke there for a while, but we do get to um, go to work uh, on our liberties. We get to work as a uh, common labor or anything at the different uh, shipyards. I earned $10 in two days, so I'm pretty well situated now. And I want to put a good word in for the PepsiCo Servicemen Center here. Everything's free, and you come in, and uh, you really go out feeling fine and all ready to go. I'm in the money now, so I'm going to out tonight. And out Seattle and everything. Rainy as usual, I bet. The weather here is okay, and no LS. Liquid sunshine has um, been around. All I might as well knock off now, and I'll send you one later on. Signing you know, off. Ozzy. Hello, Ozzy. I believe this is the third and final Pepsi Cola record. Interestingly, this uh, writing here, recorded by the record something of America, New York City, New York, uh, is blacked out. But that black marker has faded. Hello, folks. Pepsi Cola is happy to bring you a message from Ozzy, the Servicemen Center, San Francisco, California. Go, oh, Mom, Dad, and all the rest. So well, here's another record from your son in the surface. I thought I'd drop you another line before I ship out. I don't know when and where I'll ship out, but I can't stay here at Crystal forever. But I'd sure like to. There's so much to do and there's so little time to do it in. Anyway, I'll make the most of the time that I have. Yesterday I met Robert Henderson, a local boy from Hokian, just the other day, and he is also a third class of um, fire controlman. It was sure nice meeting someone from home. It's just like me from home. I've been here now two weeks, and I'm making my remaining liberty count. My job can't tell when he's about to be shipped out. Tonight I'm going to Oakland, and I'm going to do the town right. Haven't been there yet, but there's always a first time. Say, Mom, if you don't hear from me for a while, don't worry. There's no news that's good news. Mail is slow nowadays, and especially when one is out at sea. Well, here's how everything on the house, everything on the home front, Mom. And have you heard from Carson lately? And how is Kelly doing and going? Tell him to try to get in the Merchant Marine if possible, because it is the best bet. I've talked to several of them, and it sounds good to me. Well, Mom, goodbye for now. And tell Jenny and Dad and Pete and Ed and Mikey and Kirksey and all the rest goodbye from me. Love, your son, Ozzy. It really sounded like he was uh, reading from something pre-written uh, on that one. I'm guessing they only had one go at you know, recording these discs, because there was surely a lot of other servicemen you know, wanting to do the same. So they probably had to write down their thoughts first and then uh, basically just read them aloud. This disc here was recorded on uh, you know, the middle of 1942. These recordings are both of uh, songs off of the radio, so I can't play too much of them, but I'll play a little bit of uh, Sleepy Lagoon here, which was recorded by Chris B. Knudsen in June 13th of 1942. Number one. 
Here's the plan, get the new king this week. So the song that was first published in England ten years ago comes from second place to take top honors on the parade. The hit parade is sing your favorite song of them all, Sleepy Lagoon. Well, that's enough of that. It'd be a real shame to get a copyright strike on this video. Now, there's one last disc in here. It says Churchill Speech. And the same on the back. But these records are completely unintelligible. It almost looks like it says not groovy enough on there. They must have screwed something up when they recorded it. You can see it's all chewed up. Or maybe you can't see it, but I can see it. It's all chewed up and it's nothing but noise. I don't want to play it on here and damage the needle that I can't replace. There are plenty of recordings of Churchill's speeches available online though. It's not like this is anything uh, you can't get somewhere else. I don't know what became of Ozzy B. Knudsen. Uh, hopefully he came home from you know World War II unscathed, but I couldn't find anything about him online. So perhaps no news is good news. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.